Right then, what we're about to do is we're about to try and uh, fit this new, uh, what's it called? Cement mixer, motor, live. I got all sorts of, I've got all sorts of crap in my. Oh, I'm not having a good day today. I've got all sorts of crap in my pocket, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So, I think that goes in there. With that on the back of there. I need another one of them in the, on this side, I think. I'm not saying this is gonna fit. This is not the this is not the direct replacement motor for this uh cement mixer. But it looks as though it's gonna fit. Let's not worry about that just too much, just yet. Don't like that, Sean. Right, so. We'll worry about that in a minute. Yeah. So what we've got here is it's slightly different. We've got. Hang on, what they fit in there like that, Sean? No. So I didn't realise there is an overload switch in this box, but uh, I need to drill a hole through there to put an overload. Right, nothing is ever straightforward. I bought a new uh, 10 amp breaker trip there, yeah, for the internal windings, but these fittings are too big for there. Yeah. I haven't got any smaller ones, so I'm gonna have to try and budge it up somehow. So. I'm gonna to have to use these fittings, which are fine. These are the blue ones, these are bigger, take a bit more amperage and a bit more beef. So, that's that one. That one, I, pre I think white's live and black's neutral. Not ideal, but there we go. So that's that. I'm pretty sure that's okay there. So let's let's turn her on and see if she works. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if she works. Now what I'm interested to do is to put my clamp meter on there and see how much current she's taking. Right, so just out of curiosity, I wanna see how many amps this uh, 
cement mixer drawers empty. <laughs> Right, can you see that? I've put it on hold. I can't do any conceit. It draws two amps. So, uh, that's and that that is 2.2 amps, the motor. So, we're there. Uh, so, this little trip out switch might be. Sorry, there wasn't a trip out switch on this before. I was getting confused. There's no trip out switch on this. This is just on and off. So I fitted this new 10 amp trip, but that might be a bit big. It might have to be five amp, but we'll worry about that further down the track. So let's put this back together again. And, uh, Right then. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm laughing for. I've had a shit day. As I said in my other bit of video, whether I post it or not, I've, oh, I've hurt me back today. Trying to undo the nuts and bolts on my front wheel on my van. Anyhow, so this brand of cement mixer is called a Switzer. Just a generic electric 240 volt cement mixer off the internet that I bought about five years ago and I used it for whatever reason I used it for oh for mixing all the cement for my polytunnel and it's stood here ever since I'm ashamed to say and I covered it over with a big builder's bag, but the wind has blown it over several times and basically the weather's got into the motor. I thought it was a start capacitor and it wasn't. It was the actual motor. You can't actually buy the spare motors for these. They're just a generic Chinese piece of crap. So I bought a motor, I took a, a punt and bought a motor that's suitable for a, a Bell mixer. Now Bell cement mixers are one of the best brands of cement mixers on the market. All the builders use them. So that's the good news. The bad news is this, this electric cement mixer didn't have a, an internal thermal cutout switch. So if the motor struggled and it drew too much amps, it wouldn't trip. Now, admittedly, I've put a, I've put a you can't see, I've fitted a, 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 a 10 amp manual reset switch on this. 10 amp is a bit too high, but notwithstanding, better than nothing. This mix is a bit too fast. But for the stuff I'm kind of doing, it's not too bad. This is running at, what was it? Uh, 30, roughly 32 revs per minute, when really you're looking for it to be 27, 28. Doesn't sound a lot, but notwithstanding, that's what I think anyhow, but it is what it is. So let's turn it on. Works beautiful. The only thing left to do now is to give it a bit of, is to give it a bit of spray. Yep. With this, I, I'll use this rap, Rapid, uh, Rapid DP60. It's good stuff. That's that there. That's that there. That's that there. Let's turn her on. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, me, me cement mixer's back up and running. 
and that means I can mix me uh, mortar to do some rendering on the roof uh, over the weekend. So yeah, if anybody's interested, that motor for the cement mixer was, I think it was 89, not, I think it was 90 pounds. Uh, but it's the proper motor for the bell mixers. And then the, uh, the, the manual reset switch, that was, I think that was 10 pounds for two. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But what I need to do is I need to protect this, this box better from the uh, severe weather that we're having, because I learned my lesson there. So that's, some, that's my cement mixer back up and running. Job done, just in case it helped anybody. I've used this so much, so much it's been worth its weight in gold.